Vaksin jenis Sinovac dikatakan mempunyai tahap imuniti sehingga 84% selepas suntikan dos penggalak. Kajian menunjukkan tahap antibodi penerima akan berada pada paras yang tinggi. Walaupun selepas tempoh 6 bulan menerima dos penggalak berbanding dua dos vaksin yang diterima sebelumnya. Uh, we also have the data uh, six months days after the third dose, after the booster dose. Uh, because the, um, I think uh, after one, two shot, the, the, the body already have a memory of, uh, of immune. So uh, the, the booster, when the booster given, uh, either we can give, uh, well, uh, give the very high level antibody, also we can get um, um, quite an um, stable antibody. Even after six months of uh, the third dose, we see that the level is still much higher than the, the peak of the second dose. So that is also um, encourage us a lot. Beliau berkata demikian pada forum Farma Niaga mengenai suntikan dos penggalak dan vaksinasi untuk kanak-kanak secara maya. Dalam parita pengarah imunologi dan imunoterapi Millennium Institute Chile, Dr. Alice M. Kalogis berkata, di Chile, komuniti saintifik telah bekerjasama dengan pihak universiti untuk mendidik masyarakat mengenai keberkesanan vaksin. Tambah beliau para saintis dan doktor juga turut dinasihat untuk menjelaskan keberkesanan vaksin kepada orang ramai secara sederhana agar tidak timbul kekeliruan. Um, we did a pretty good study showing that um, the um, social network, um, like you know, different type of platforms for social network, could be pretty tricky because many people go uh, and try to find information there. So we're trying to promote the notion that having more scientific evidence. Yeah. Uh, in this, like you know, in Twitter, Facebook, etc., so people can get information with some scientific basis. Sebelum ini, pihak berkuasa kesihatan Chile meluluskan penggunaan vaksin Sinovac terhadap kanak-kanak berusia 6 tahun ke atas sekaligus menjadikan Chile negara Amerika Latin pertama yang melaksanakan program vaksinasi terhadap kanak-kanak.